video, we'll show you how you can turn on simple flow templates to automate your work activities, including one that will save all of your Outlook attachments automatically for you in a folder that it will create. To access process automation flows, we first have to access Power Automate, the app that runs flows, which are automated processes that you'll set up on your user profile and will run automatically for you. Start from your Office 365 homepage and then navigate to the Power Automate app from the launcher or the app bar. When you're brought to Power Automate, we're looking for the template section. Select that view from the navigation. There are thousands of templates for flows which you can use for free. The Flow community and Microsoft submits flow templates, and anyone with Power Automate is able to use any one of these for free. You can access different flow categories of flow templates at the top of the page and even search for specific terms. Oftentimes, the more complicated flow templates like this one, request manager approval for a selected item, are a bit complicated to configure for yourself, and you may be better off just creating them from scratch. There are, however, many simple flows that everyone should be using. One flow that we constantly tell Office 365 users to use is the first and most popular flow template. This template will automatically save all of your email attachments to your OneDrive in a specific folder called Email Attachments from Flow. Don't worry about setting up that folder as well, because Flow will automatically create it for you. We're going to show you how to turn on this flow template, but remember, the process is always the same for all flow templates. To turn on this flow, just select it. You'll be brought to a brand new page, where you'll see an overview of the steps, uh, description, and the different applications that this flow will need permission to connect to. I've had this flow on before, and use flow constantly, so my connections are confirmed already. If your connections aren't showing the green check marks, just select the sign in buttons that appear next to the connection items. Once you've signed into those connections, select Create Flow. That's it, you've successfully turned on a flow template, and now you own a copy of that flow. You'll be redirected to a new page, the Flow Overview, where you can see the run history, the connections, the owners, and other options. As this flow saves email attachments automatically in a folder, it will also create a brand new folder in your OneDrive if this is the first time you've used this flow template. When I access my OneDrive, you'll see a folder called Email Attachments from Flow. When I open that folder, I'll see that every email attachment that I've received has been automatically saved for me in this folder. Now, each time that I receive an email in my Outlook, it will save here for me automatically, so I can have my own copy and not have to search through my Outlook for an old attachment. I'll head back to Power Automate. You can always manage your flows by accessing the My Flows view. From the My Flows view, you can access a flow just by selecting it, where you can edit it and its steps to make changes to that flow, share it with others, delete it, send it as a copy, and other options. If you don't want that flow to run anymore, just remember that you can always select the Turn Off button, which will stop this flow from running, but not delete it and you can always come back and select Turn On to have it run again. We think using templates is a great way to get started with flows and Power Automate. Let us know what kind of flows you'd like to see, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.